What up everybody, it is Cody here from Metal Miners uh, for the third installment of the Metal Miners Saturday Bandcamp Special. Um, as usual today, I have five releases that I have discovered via Bandcamp that I would like to discuss with you all. Um, today is a good day for black metal on the video uh it's a very diverse group of bands um i think there's something for everybody on this video so um yeah let's get right into it oh but first um i wanted to thank uh patrick from heavy therapy um for doing the live stream with me uh, I believe that video was posted uh, yesterday. Um, got some good reactions. Um, hopefully sent some subs Patrick's way. His page is definitely worth uh, checking out. Um, and yeah, hopefully, I mean, at the end of the day, all these videos are kind of just about, you know, giving the bands that we talk about support. Um, you know, no one's going to get rich doing any sort of metal besides you know like metallica or like iron maiden or something but you know typically with these underground bands um you know they're working jobs and they're just doing it out of passion for the music um which i don't think there's much more noble things to do than that than to follow your passion so definitely uh support the bands um whether it be you know post their stuff i mean buying their stuff would probably be the best um but you know just word of mouth kind of helps anything helps you know with these getting these bands names out there um certainly they deserve it so let's get right into it um the first band that i'm going to talk about is a band called Vargsang. uh this is call of the night wolves um this came out in 2003. Uh, this is black metal. Um, what can I say? It's 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 pretty raw. It's got, you know, just riffs on riffs. Uh, and super fucking grim. Um, it's German black metal. Um, which Germany, I feel like, isn't one of those countries that is necessarily known for their black metal. Um... But I mean, this is a really good release. It's a one piece. Um, Vark Singh is the guy who does the music as well as the name of the band. Um, you'll see it's got the, you know, the classic kind of black metal cover. Um, and that's essentially what you get in this uh, release. Um, pretty much just meat and potatoes, black metal. Uh, but I thought it was really, really good. Um, I actually saw this, uh, I believe on a t-shirt, I want to say design, disorder design company or something like that posted a, a shirt of the, uh, band and I'd never heard of it and I thought the shirt looked cool. So I was like, yeah, I might as well check that out. Uh, and I was really glad I did. So, um, that is Vard Singh's Call of the Night Wolves. Rise the oceans, the blood is filled in my veins. Next up is a band called. Needon Division 187. Uh, this is their only full length in Paragum. Um, it's Swedish black metal. Uh, four piece. Came out in 1997. Um, this is just like straight up um, Zyklon B worship. Um, Zyklon B, of course, being the. Uh, Norwegian black metal band that features guys like um, Frost on drums, um, Semoth um, from Emperor. 
I believe in Sans in it as well. Um, I can't remember the vocalist for Zyklon B, but um, this, I mean, just like Zyklon B, this is insanely fast black metal. Uh, just blast beats galore. Um, crazy fast tremolo riffing. The riffs are great. Um, there are some slow parts to it. There are few and far between. Um, like Zyklon B, they've got some samples of some guy talking about war or some, something along those lines. Um, but if you like Zyklon B, you definitely would like this. Um, I was really impressed by it. Uh, I love this type of black metal. This just kind of balls to the walls. Uh, let's see how fast we can play um, and be just as aggressive as possible. Uh, one thing I was thinking as I was making, you know, the notes for this video is how to differentiate, you know, something like Needin Division 187 or Zyklon B from War Metal. I'm not sure how I could, you know, sum that up in words, but there's certainly a distinct difference. Um, if you have any thoughts on that, let me know in the comments because it seems like they would be, you know, kind of hand in hand with one another, but there's definitely a difference in the sound. Um, so let me know what you think about that in the comments if you've gotten a, if you got a better idea than I do, so to speak. Um, it says Imperigum by Needin Division 187, Swedish Black Metal. Next up is Storm of Witchcraft by Malleus. Uh, this is a, a US black metal band specifically from Boston, Massachusetts. Um, this is a, a first wave inspired black metal band for sure. Um, if you're a fan of Celtic Frost, uh, this is gonna be right up your alley. Um, this out, I mean, it's an EP, it's fun as hell. Uh, it's a long EP. It's about 35 minutes. Um, but, I mean, you know, it's got great riffs. That sort of uh, gritty first wave Celtic Frost vibe to it. Um, I loved every second of this. Um, I'm sure if you like, you know, Celtic Frost, Hellhammer, uh, that kind of stuff, you definitely need to check this out. Uh, this came out in 2016. Um, I believe they have another, I want to say a demo after this, but no full length yet. Uh, so hopefully these guys uh, can put something out soon because I was really impressed by this release and definitely would like to hear more from them. So that is A Storm of Witchcraft by Malleus. up is a band uh called night of the vampire uh this is their release eternal night um i wasn't able to find them on metal archives um but it's not dungeon synth um i know my i know if my dad's watching he's automatically thinking oh this is some dungeon synth that's not on metal archives because it's not metal as he claimed uh, when we last spoke. Uh, let's set that to the side for now. Everybody can't be perfect. Um, this is, however, a release that I am not going to be able to put really into words, into justice of what it is. Um, it's categorized as black synth, um, but it's not 
you know, it's not dungeon synth. It's more like, kind of like dark wave, I guess you'd call it. See, this is where I kind of don't know what I'm talking about here. Um, it's definitely got some black metal to it. Um, but I would say it's more electronic infused, not synth as much. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, it came out in uh, January, uh, June 2022. It's either June or January. I wrote J A N or J U N, one or the other. Um, but a really interesting release. They're out of Texas. Uh, couldn't find much on them. Um, there are vinyl copies that I saw. Um, so I, I want to say it's an EP. There's only three tracks on there. Um, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty easy listen. Um, if you're, if you're not really into black metal due to the harshness, you could give this listen for sure. Kind of wet your feet a little bit. Or if you come from, you know, I don't even know what bands I would suggest. I mean, maybe like not Daft Punk, but I, you know, it's just, as far as electronic goes, I don't know that much about it. So um, if you're into anything kind of electronic, I would definitely say check this out. Uh, but even electronic's not the right word for this. You just have to listen to it. I'll give, uh, you know, always I'm gonna give um, a little listen of it. So maybe you can tell me uh, better what this music is. Cause I think it's good. I just don't know what the hell it is. And that is Torchlight by Pagan Moon. And if you saw my last video, the live stream, or if you caught uh, when, when I premiered it and uh, we're in the chat, um, I know Gordon, uh, I know you're gonna like this because you said you picked up the um, compilation of Pagan Moon. Um, this is the demo uh, that came out before it. Um, of course, this is, this is the same guy, so it's a one piece, goes by LH, uh, raw black metal, I guess you'd call it, um, out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, this came out in 2021. I only wrote, wrote one word for the review, amazing. Um, Pagan Moon is quickly becoming one of my favorite projects. Uh, the more I listen to it, the more I'm a fan. Um, if you're a fan of black metal, I'd just say check it out. I mean, this shit is really good. Uh, I really don't have much to say other than this shit is really good. I mean, it hits all the all the spots for me. I mean, it's got that kind of raw tinge, really good riffs. The music as a whole is great. The aesthetic is great. I mean, I just like everything about this project. Um, so I'm gonna just keep listening to more and more of it, hopefully buy some of it soon. Um, but that is Torchlight by Pagan Moon. And that does it for me today. Um, I don't have anything to announce. Um, I will have the first update video I've done in quite some time. Uh, I don't know, coming out sometime this week. Um, got a few vinyl to show. Um, so yeah, that should be um, coming sometime this week, I guess. Um, as always, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another Saturday band camp special on Saturday. Um, and yeah, I believe that does it for me. So thanks for watching and remember only the good stuff. <laughs>